Hello everyone, and welcome to this Apex product update video. My name is Sam, and today we will be covering some of the major new features in our newly released Apex products, including Apex DS and DX. This update to both products includes a few under the hood changes that improve signal phase and tack processing and enable the biggest update in the set of releases, Signal Math. Other quality of life improvements have been made to both products as well, and we'll go over each of them in more detail later in this video. If you're only interested in one of the products, you can skip to that timestamp linked in the description below. The first thing we will cover today is Signal Math, as this feature is now available in both DX and DS. In DS, this is accomplished through a new and updated computed tab. Inside of DS, you can create a setup as usual, and use the View dropdown to show the Computed tab. Once in the Computed tab, you can add the number of desired computed channels with the Channels field in the top ribbon of the Setup panel. Once the channels have been created, you can give them a name, set the correct units for the channel, and then define the expression. The Math Evaluator supports addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation with the normal operator precedence. The one exception being that the exponentiation is evaluated left to right. The math functions shown now on screen are also supported. If any of these supported operators are included in the name of a signal used in signal math, it should be placed in curly brackets. For instance, I have a computed channel here named sine that I would like to use in a different computed channel. So when I go to create my expression, I'll write it in curly brackets like this. And as you can see from this demonstration, nested calculations will be performed as expected. After computed channels have been created, they are displayed in the signal tree and function exactly like any other channel. The process for setting up signal math is similar in DX. However, setting up takes place in a separate element instead of in the global setup as in DS. You'll find the new signal math element in the top left ribbon. Simply drag the element onto the canvas and add a new computed channel. Once the element is created, the element setup window will show automatically where a new computed channel can be defined. First, set up the channel name, which is how the signal appears in the signal tree. Next, define the formula for the new signal. These operators will be identical to those in DS. You can additionally use the Signals and Functions dropdowns to create your process. Channels already in the Process Designer will appear in the Signals dropdown. Finally, set the Type and Define units for the channel. Once the channel has been defined, connect the Signal Math element to the FFT, or whatever element comes next in your process chain. And once you process your file, you'll see that the channel appears in the signal tree and can be used as a regular signal for viewing. Additionally, in DX, overall processing time has been slightly improved, and load times for simple CSV files has been greatly improved. Additional bugs have been fixed with MATLAB file readers and the TDMS file reader, the disallowed processing on more recent file exports of those types. If you have any questions about supported files and drivers, you can email me at snickel at apexturban.com or reach out to our general email address at info at apexturban.com. Our previous release of DX included many new features, so if you're not up to date on that release, please check out the link in the description to that update video. New features in DS include updates to the alarm system, including a new alarms page. The alarms page is available under View, Alarms. The alarms page will automatically raise if one of the configured statistics go over the defined range. More on that in a second. Or if the defined channel exceeds the overall range set in the channel setup. To enable auto raise, check the checkbox of that name. Alarms can be set to trigger based on statistic levels on a per-channel basis. To set up statistic alarms, enter the Setup panel and use the View dropdown to show the Advanced Processing tab, as these alarms are set up using a new plugin built into DS. To specify a statistic and limit in the Advanced tab, select a channel or group of channels, and in the Plugins area, 
set the plugin type to stat limit. This will automatically populate an example statistic limit, RMS with an upper limit of 8 and a lower limit of 6. You can change the statistic type and the upper and lower limit based on the instructions in the description section. For this example, I will set a peak to peak stat limit to have an upper limit of 2 and a lower limit of 0.5. Once the arguments have been set up for the plugin, click the green plus button to add the limit to the channel. Multiple limits can be set for each channel. Once the stat limits have been added, click OK to begin running your test. As you can see, if the peak to peak statistic on my configured channels go above 2, the alarm panel will automatically raise and the over limit channels and statistics will be highlighted. If the value goes back below the limit, an alarm will stay highlighted for the amount of time specified in the reset timeout box. Pressing acknowledge will clear the current warning and hide alarms until an upper limit is reached by a different channel. Additionally, a timer reset value has been added to highlighted above limit channels in the regular DS test ops panel and DR views. In order to change this timeout amount, go to view preferences and change the alarm reset value to the desired value. And that wraps up all of the new features in the latest version of DS and DX. If you have any other questions about any of these changes, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my email is s-n-i-c-h-o-l at apexturban.com. Additionally, you can email info at apexturban.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.